Hey, what's up guys? Wanted to give you guys a uh, update to one of my uh, newest projects. And this is a uh, Cherry Master arcade cabinet. I believe it's Cherry Master anyways. And uh, what this is going to be is not a Cherry Master project. This is going to be a jukebox project. For those of you who actually follow me on Facebook, I uh, kind of posted a few weeks ago that I wanted to build a jukebox. You know, my main cabinet over here has uh, some MP3s loaded on it, and when it actually loads in um, Maximus Arcade, it plays some MP3s, which is cool. But, uh, you know, obviously you lose the music when you load up any game. So I was thinking, it'd be kind of cool to have a separate cabinet to uh, be able to, uh, you know, have jukebox and have like a digital kind of mp3 feel to it. And I was looking on Craigslist and I was looking at jukeboxes and they're just way, way too expensive. Uh, there was a CD one for about 600 bucks that seemed like it was kind of a good deal. And then I really thought about it and I thought, do I really want to go the CD route? I want to have all my CDs, all my vinyls in storage, and I have everything converted over to an mp3. And I decided, no, I didn't want to do that. So... I had two options. I looked online and there was a uh, cabinet maker that actually made a uh, digital jukebox that was uh, wall mounted and that went for about $199 or there was a, the other option and that was to contact my local arcade and pinball dealer, uh, Arcade Adventures in Crystal Lake, Illinois. I talked to them and just asked if they had any gutted cabinets available and uh, after a few days it turned out they did so I got a hold of this Monkey Land uh, Cherry Master cabinet. Uh, God, I think I'm totally wrecking the name, but I might be wrong. But uh, it is in really, really freaking good shape. Uh, I had the choice of uh, two units, basically, either the brown or the black. And uh, I chose the uh, black because it was in such good condition. Um, obviously, he pulled the uh, motherboard and the monitor out of there, which is fine. But what's great is he actually left the buttons for me, which is really cool. And what the plan is, there is a, a jukebox application that I've been playing around with called, I believe it's SK Juke, uh, and it was originally made for main cabinets. And essentially what I'm going to do is uh, pop this sucker open, and it's going to be tough to see because it's dark, and I apologize, but these are the uh, actual buttons that are lit. I'm just going to get myself a uh, Ultramark board, get a PC in there, and uh, away we go, hopefully. We'll be able to pop a PC in there and get going with this. And it should look pretty good. And uh, the final game plan then, once the buttons are wired back up here, is I will actually change these into a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 deal. And use that so you can uh, punch in your actual catalog number for your album. So when it comes up online, that say uh, Unleaded Logic Second Coming album is uh, 1426, then you'll be able to pop that in, hit this. Maybe I'll add another button here or here, and uh, you'll be ready to play and ready to rock. And uh, with the options of so many different areas, there's storage in the back here where I could pop a PC. In the front, there's even this coin box down here. I have a lot of room for some speakers, so I could do a subwoofer down there, and I could do some decent speakers on top. Hell, there's already a hole for the speaker here, and uh, it should be re really, really cool. Now, this whole monkey land thing. Uh, I wasn't sure about it at first. I could always remove that, but uh, I think this is going to be the monkey jukebox, at least for now. And I'm going to call this uh, project Monkey Juice, basically because, one, it's got the monkey on the cabinet, and when I was a kid, I used to call jukeboxes juice boxes. And uh, I forget who I said it wrong in front of, but man, they totally ripped me a new one and embarrassed the crap out of me. But uh, I know other people who used to call it a uh, juice box as well. But uh, if you take that and take monkey and you got Project Monkey Juice, so kind of interesting. So I'm going to look online and see uh, if I can get a decently priced Ultramark board. I believe there's an Ultramark value board. See how many ports that offers and uh, get to working on the jukebox, look on some speakers. So... The only question now is, I have this over here, my Pachinko. This was my modded Xbox set up here, and obviously with this over here, um, you can't really shoot, so I'm going to have to move some stuff around. You know, maybe this will go over here, and uh, 
the bar will go over here then we'll have the Xbox here this uh, this may end up getting moved out of here after all so I may not get rid of it obviously but just move it further down the line and maybe I'll get another machine but don't tell my wife that so um, I guess that's pretty much it so sorry I'm completely out of it allergy season has begun in the states for us and I am one of those wonderful people affected and what I'm taking totally messes with me so if I sound extremely out of it I apologize but that's it I uh, just wanted to show the uh, new project and I don't know if I showed this or not but that is the finished look of uh, the new monitor with the uh, proper bezel on it and a uh, pinball machine I mentioned we were doing some work on it uh, I tried to get the two player mode to work and we totally killed the coil and the thing won't turn on now without blowing a fuse so that's another thing we're trying to replace. I'm expecting that from Marco Specialty soon, but that's a game room update. I will have some more updates and a big channel update coming soon, and that's all for now. Thanks, guys.